It's crazy. It's getting crazy out here. 226 murders in the last 208 days in Philadelphia. My brother was an honest boy, 17 years old. He ain't been 17 for a month. Police say that it started on Woodlawn and Ardley and ended on Nelson and Locust Streets. Four men shot. A 21, 19, and 15 year old are hospitalized. And 17 year old Terrence James shot in the chest and died at the scene. My brother is going there. He's not here no more. And that's all. And it was, I don't, if it was drug related, it wasn't because my brother had anything to do with drugs. He was with the wrong crowd. That's all. People here have seen this scene before. And I have 11 kids. I got 10 living there. So, you know, what I mean, this is like touching a soft spot in my heart. Marilyn's son was shot and killed around the corner just eight months ago. It's getting worse. I think we're losing it. You know, we're losing too many kids. I mean, it's terrible. I don't know what we're going to do to recover. This month has been the deadliest July in the city's history. The United Men for a Better Philadelphia were in South Kensington speaking to teens with hopes of preventing more murders. We're out here talking to the kids to try as a preventive measure to see if we can get them involved in something other than fist fighting and uh, stabbing and beating each other up. Margie Suarez, the local town watch captain, says that preventing the violence and crime starts on the home front. Watch what they do. You know, constantly. I don't care if it's an invasion of privacy for the kids. Go through the pockets. Citizens hope that their efforts will help bring an end to all the violence. Chelsea Bordeaux for CN8 News.